Hi, my name is Lori Alexander, and I just wanted to update you on a few things. I only have one more week of radiation. I've been through five weeks after today, and the first three weeks were very tough because I think I had, I told my sisters this and um, my daughters at several, several times what I was going through the first three weeks. The minute I would walk into the door, I would, my stomach would hurt. I would have to go to the bathroom, have diarrhea. I was just so anxious. And, and they all said post-traumatic stress disorder or syndrome, whatever it's called, from cyber knife that I had seven years ago that was so traumatizing for me. Even though this, I didn't feel like this was as nearly as traumatizing, but just, it's not comfortable sitting, laying on a metal table, having your face clamped down and then being locked in a vault-like thing, <laughs> a machine roving over your head. But this one's only 10 minutes. The cyber knife was almost an hour. So after a week of that, I was very traumatized. But this one, I'm actually, I had, after Thanksgiving, I knew I only had two more weeks left and I was not looking forward to it. But this week is the first week I've actually be able, been able to lay on the table and just relax. And I mean, it's still not fun, but I don't feel the anxiety. My stomach doesn't hurt. I just, you know, and it's a really short time, so it hasn't been bad at all. So I'll be done next Friday, which I'm thankful for. <laughs> but like I said, it's not nearly as bad as brain surgery or cyber knife, not nearly, just because it's so short. And for that, I'm very thankful. And another thing I wanna to talk to you about is about three weeks ago, I listened to a woman called The Daily Connoisseur, and she talked about intermittent fasting. And she has lost six over 20 pounds in six months by doing intermittent fasting. And she had a link, she told us about who she learned from a Dr. Mike. You can Google Dr. Mike intermittent fasting. And so I listened to him and I really liked what I heard. And the reason it appealed to me is because a man in our church that it's about my age, at the end of last year, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer and he was gonna have surgery on it. But his friend, Jordan Rubin, called him. He wrote the book, The Maker's Diet. He cured himself from cancer and colitis through diet and fasting. So he called him and said, try my way first. And so my friend said, yeah, sure. So he tried it and it was intermittent fasting and then drinking a lot of juices. I'm not, and then a special, it was definitely a special anti-cancer diet but he's completely cancer free. I just found out this out about a month ago. So um, a, a little over, less than a, a year, he's completely cancer free through diet and intermittent fasting. And when I was young, my mom had colitis really bad and she would go away to these places where they would fast the people and then put them on all raw vegetable juices and then slowly introduce organic foods. and she saw people get healed from cancer and she cured her colitis from that. And so after listening to Dr. Mike and all the benefits of intermittent fasting, I didn't want to do it to lose weight. So I try to eat a lot in my eight hour span, and, you know, but with all my health problems, I thought, you know, it can't hurt. I'm, I'm the type that when I find out something's bad for me, I stop eating it or doing it. And if something's good for me, I try. So um, I gave it to my husband, one of my sons and his wife are doing it. My husband's doing it, his brother's doing it. And we all like it. We all like just the self-discipline it gives you. And knowing that it's okay to be hungry. And I'm not, my, Ken and I have completely eight hour different spans that we eat. The way we intermittent fast is we eat eight hours and then we fast for 16 hours. And it's supposed to fight cancer cells, um, inflammation in your body, help you to sleep better. I definitely found I'm sleeping better and it's healing my gut, which is really nice. Just I think that long rest and many, many things. Um, fasting is good for us. So, and of course, call, talk to your doctor, which I don't know if they would agree with it or not, but <laughs> I am, because the people who were sick as a dog with cancer would go fasting My mom, where my mom went and they would get well. But if you feel so inclined, definitely speak with your doctor about it. I didn't talk to mine, but 
So anyway, because I, I just, I don't think fasting hurts you. And maybe, maybe if you have um, low blood sugar, maybe it might hurt you, but it might heal you too. I don't know. Research it. Research it. There's a lot of information on the internet about intermittent fasting. So anyway, we eat eight hours and then we fast for 16 hours. And my husband and I have both different totally times because I love to go to bed early and wake up early. He likes to go to bed late and wake up late. So mine is like from seven to three and his is like from noon to eight. <laughs> but it, you just had to figure out what works for you. And then in the 16 hours, you just drink water. Even they say like stevia can stop the fast. So I sub about three and the thing about it, I, it works for me because I'm really good between breakfast and lunch. I don't really eat anything, but from lunch to dinner, I'll kind of snack and then I'm not that hungry for dinner, but I'll eat anyway. So now I just kind of eat lunch and I snack a little bit. Then I have a bowl of soup about 2.30 with homemade chicken broth and everything before I start, start fasting at three. And so I'm not hungry really. Sometimes I'll feel like I want to eat. I think a lot of times, like my husband said, you just want to eat out of boredom a lot of times. And so sometimes at night I want to eat out of boredom, but the hardest time for me is in the morning, the hour before I can eat, like from six to seven, I am ready to eat. I will have my tea in the morning um, with nothing in it. I do put some salt in it because of my salt wasting problems with my pituitary and everything, but um, that won't stop the fasting. So, and then she goes through what she eats in a day, but I think you just have to decide. I like, I eat real healthy. I, because of my health problems, I've been pretty much forced to. And plus I was raised organic, healthy eating. So I like to eat healthy. I prefer, I feel like you could eat anything that you want and make it a lot healthier. So I have a lot of, a big, huge salad for lunch, sauerkraut on it, a lot of avocado, pumpkin seeds, sardines, chicken, um, whatever, turkey. I had a lot of turkey on my salad after salad, after Thanksgiving. <laughs> and then for dinner, I'll have a big cup of soup, I, like I said, and a piece of my sourdough bread. And for breakfast, egg and toast or kefir and fruit. So you just, you can be creative, but I think it's just good for discipline too, to just have that. I think we as a country way overeat. We eat too much, I think, and people will say, oh, it's so dangerous. It's, so, it's like, not eating for an extra two hours a day is dangerous. I, I don't know, I, I don't see that, but you might, you know, I'm not, I don't know everything. <laughs> but I've tried it only for three weeks. The Daily Connoisseur woman has done it for six months or more, and the Dr. Mike's done it for years. He only does it Monday through Friday and eats kind of normal hours during the weekend, which is fine if that's, I'm my husband and I are doing it full-time he has some things he issues he wants to deal with and he's seeing definitely improvement on those issues too so anyway if you're looking to lose weight or just feel better maybe you have some health issues research it and see if it's the right thing for you and it's nice because you don't it's not counting calories and whatever um well for me i try to get enough calories in <laughs> but if you're trying to lose weight so anyway, those are my two updates on my radiation treatments and my intermittent fasting, what I'm involved with, and they're both going good. <laughs> anyway, talk to you later. Bye-bye.